Uh, this is really, really sad. Um, this news about Jacoby Jones. Um, it's it's crazy, man. Uh, he, he was just 40 years old. 40 years old. So super, super, super young, man. Young, like 40 years old. I'm not sure what happened, what caused it. And, and I don't think, not that it's not important, but that's for his family to decide if they would like to release that so that's completely up to them and that's fine if they do it's fine if they don't it's fine but it's sad uh it sucks um i'm sure a lot of y'all that may be watching this y'all might have had an opportunity to uh, have met jacoby jones before and if you did please share your experience uh, of jacoby jones in the comment section um i know i never got to meet him before at all uh but uh, obviously us as Ravens fans we got like so many different moments where Jacoby Jones just made our fandom and made our experience as Ravens fans that much more special and that much more significant because of how he was he with Jacoby Jones there's some players that they could make plays obviously and that's a beautiful thing but there are also players that really just bring a whole vibe about them and Jacoby Jones he was definitely one of those guys. I remember Jacoby Jones. I never learned how to do it, but he had me sure trying that whole that that I, I don't know what it, it was Jacoby Jones from New Orleans, I think. So I, I don't know what the dance was, but he sure every time every, he he scored a touchdown and he would do it. He had me trying it too, but it ain't never work out for me. But shout out to Jacoby Jones, man. Um, some of uh again since we didn't know him personally, but we just knew him as a Baltimore Raven. Uh, some of his best moments um, just to really highlight what he what type of impact he had on our lives um, for me for my wife when we our first year of marriage um, it was her first Ravens game was against in 20 the 2012 season the Super Bowl season um, against the Raiders that was her very first Ravens game and Jacoby Jones, he took a kick. Uh, he took a kick return back for a touchdown that game. Um, so that's that was special. That was special. And Jacoby Jones, of course, that year he was just he was amazing, man. He was something serious. He was uh, he was that guy, man. He just brought so much excitement um, to like, and, and he was one of them players where every single play when they on the field, you just know something could happen you know something could happen you know like any second something could pop off uh with jacoby jones with a punt return kick return and then even that receiver too even that receiver because you know like for for kick returners and punt returners especially like him because he was one where he had some speed but he had that agility too uh so he'll shake somebody out their shoes man but um when that when somebody like that when they had a ball in their hands it's dangerous is is dangerous either way like i, I remember uh in week i want to say it was week two or week three of that super bowl season um where the ravens were playing the eagles and we all remember namdi awesome or oh, a lot of y'all y'all may not remember him and that's fine but a lot of us old old heads well kind of old heads we remember namdi awesome uh because he was this lockdown corner for the oakland raiders at the time and then the, the Philadelphia Eagles, they had signed him. And Philadelphia Eagles, they've been just signing people like crazy for the longest. But anyway, they had signed him to this big deal. But they changed the way he played. But anyway, that's besides the point. But anyway, in I think week th two or week three of that Super Bowl season, we were playing the Eagles. And Jacoby Jones, Namdi Asamoah, was matched up with Jacoby Jones. It's locked down corner, matched up with Jacoby Jones. Jacoby Jones hit him with a ah, ah, boom, ran to the end zone. Boom, touchdown. Flacco put it on the money. Jacoby Jones scored a touchdown on him. They did call it back. I Did they say offensive passing? Whatever they called, it, I remember it being a bad call. And I remember watching that game live just being so frustrated. Like, he just scored a touchdown on one of the best corners in the league, and, and they taking it back. So, like, what's that for? But, of course, he had plenty more memorable moments um, besides that. Obviously, the biggest one. Uh, well, biggest ones. Like, and you could pick – between the two because it's almost like it's a 1a and a 1b um so it's because you you could easily say all right that 108 yard kickoff return in the super bowl that helped the ravens win that game it should have been a blowout but we know of course they, they turn their lights up but anyway um 
you could say that's his biggest moment because why is the biggest stage i can see that um but then you go back a, pre a previous couple weeks against the broncos where jacoby jones uh caught the, the mile high miracle when it's looking like the ravens they down and out uh, they ain't got no time left they need a touchdown broncos know they need a touchdown and even though you got this big arm quarterback you show them them sec the secondary in the corners they're gonna be playing off they're gonna be playing back so they could prevent anything but jacoby jones called to see if flacco he, he put it up there jacoby jones ran and he got it because the thing with him like obviously that's a huge play from flacco huge play from jacoby jones but it could it, it has so many different variables that could have made that play not happen that could have made that play fail offensive line could have given up a sack joe flacco could have got hit and then fumbled the ball joe flacco could have got sacked he, he could have thrown an inaccurate ball he could have thrown a, a, a bad ball he could have got intercepted then that's only from the offensive line of joe flacco but then from jacoby jones he could have overrun it he could have underrun it and he could have dropped it and had he dropped that raven's history is completely different but he didn't he caught it and not only caught it but he caught it and scored so that play was just that was that's my favorite game of the baltimore ravens of all time that is my favorite game um and i think that's my favorite game because it just it has so many beautiful moments and there's some a lot of scary moments um but it just show like man like these dudes really came together and made this happen man they they, they finished the job man but jacoby jones was certainly a, a huge huge part of that um his energy uh he obviously had a lot of love for the ravens um i don't know if because y'all know how ravens would always like they, they welcome a lot of people back there's some people they don't welcome back so much but they welcome a lot of people back but jacoby jones they always welcome him back they always had him in the building they always they had him like at the, the the open stadium practices that they would normally have every year they would have jacoby jones like uh doing the little commentary stuff for them and whatnot doing interviews they would have him in the building like he was somebody they always welcome back because they had a lot of love for Jacoby Jones. I don't know. And again, he was more so remembered for his time for, as a Raven than any other teams he played for. I don't know if the Texans welcome him back like that. And this not like even to, to take a dig at the Texans or anything like that. But I just think the love that he had for the Baltimore Ravens and the team, the organization, the fans, just everybody. I think that love was just so intense that... That's why they kept welcome him back. He would always be back and just always. He just always seemed like he was in a good mood. He just always seemed like he just always joking, just always having a good time, man. Jacoby Jones, that's what he seemed like to me. And again, like I said, if y'all got personal experiences where you got an opportunity to meet him, even if it was for five seconds, please share them. Share them. Because somebody, they could be somebody, maybe a family member of his may watch this video and just may, may need a, a, a boost right now they may need to pick me up right now because they lost a, a, a family member and that's tough that's that's obviously tough we've all obviously unfortunately uh been through that uh and it's sad man so please that's why i say shit in any experience that you've ever had uh with jacoby jones or about jacoby jones like i said if you don't know him personally then just put something that a point in your life where he did something and you just remember him for it even if it was just an experience as a fan just watching from afar like for for a lot of us because that never got to meet him but um again he always just seemed like he was just happy he always just seemed like he was just having fun like even like um the draft where was that draft that where he was trolling was he trolling the Steelers? Where where was that? Where was that draft at? Where he came he came on the dra on on the on the draft stage and he was doing the dance and stuff. It wasn't it wasn't in Pittsburgh. No, it wasn't it? Was it in Philly? I did I mm, I don't remember where it was at, but I, I just I remember him trolling though. Again, just having a good time. Having a good time. Engaging with the fans, sort of just, just messing with people. But again, he did it all in fun, man. And that's like that's probably the best word to describe um, what it, it what it seemed like the person the type of person Jacoby Jones was was all in fun, 
all in fun. Everything was all in fun. And it's like you, you, you watch him on the field, all in fun. The, the, he brought so much fun to the Baltimore Ravens. And then when you would see him in presses and in interviews and stuff, even when they would show him on the sideline and stuff, all in fun, all in fun. And, excuse me, it's nice when, um, when somebody's remembered like that, all in fun. Uh, he didn't walk around like it didn't seem like he walked around grumpy because there again, there's some players again. Like I said, I only know him from pressers and from seeing him at open practice and seeing uh, him on the field and stuff. There's some players that could seem a little grumpy and I, it's fine. I, I get it. We all got different moods and stuff like that. I get it. But it seemed it seemed like again, I didn't know him personally, but it seemed like with Jacoby Jones, he did not seem like he was no grumpy type of person, man. He really didn't. But um. He obviously had a big impact on a lot of people's lives. Uh, he was a father. I know he was a coach, too, for, for a bit of time. I'm not sure if he was still coaching recently, but he had been a coach uh, for a little while, too. So I know uh, for coaches, they are almost like they, they are not even almost like they are extended family uh, to these kids that they're coaching. Um, and that's whether you coach male, whether you coach female, whatever it is that you're coaching, because these players, these kids, these students, they spend so much extra time um, outside of the norm. Like if you're coaching a football team, uh, they, they'll spend time after school with the coach doing drills, going over this, going over that, learning this, learning that. But that coach is, is, is they become family to you. And sometimes it could be good family, sometimes it could be bad family, but that coach becomes family to you because you spend a lot of time with them. So I'm sure for wherever Jacoby Jones, wherever he coached at, uh, I'm sure he became family to them. Um, and it's nice when you have somebody who had a lot of success in the NFL, had success on the highest level. Not, not was just he wasn't just only a Super Bowl champion because there's some players, and it's no offense to them at all. Because, hey, they Super Bowl champions, not me. Um, but there's some players who are champions, are Super Bowl champions, and they may not have touched the field at all. But they did contribute because I'm sure they contributed to practice. They may be on the um, – uh, I, I forget the name of that part of the team um, where you, like, try to emulate another player on an opposing team. Uh, I forget what it's called. Not the practice squad, but the um, – I forget I forget what it's called But y'all would know what I'm talking about But anyway my point is that there's there's a lot of These teams consist of 53 players And then they got practice squads and whatnot. But um, but there's a lot of people that don't even touch the field That end up getting Super Bowl rings And that's fine because they're part of the team They contribute in some way But Jacoby Jones wasn't just on the team He was a huge part of the reason Why the Baltimore Ravens won the Super Bowl he was a huge part of the reason why the Baltimore Ravens even got to the Super Bowl he was a huge part of the reason why the Baltimore Ravens made it in to the playoffs he was a big part of the reason why the Baltimore Ravens they won a good a good enough amount of their games to get to the playoffs Jacoby Jones impact was very very significant that year extremely significant like that dude was a real threat. I think he had what he had returns in the Raiders game, the Cowboys game. Um, was it the Steelers game? I think this this I think the Steelers game that year. I think it was like a Sunday night football game. Or was it Monday night football? Well, one of them two. Um I know he had more too. I know he for sure had more, but either way, man, Jacoby Jones, he he was like that, man. He was he was like that. And again, like I said, the vibes, man. The vibes. Uh and not every player got the vibe like that. Not every player has to have the vibe like that. It's not like that's a requirement that makes you a special player, but it just makes you that much more special of a person to people, to people that watch, to people that engage with you. And when you just, when you just got a, a certain type of, and I don't want to necessarily use this word, but it would be the best word that I could choose, but when you got a certain type of aura to you, I know everybody using that word like it's like almost cringe now. But anyway, when you got a certain type of aura to you and like you got like a certain type of presence, then people mess with you that much more. And it seemed like Jacoby Jones had just that. Um, real quick, let's read this statement uh, from the well from from Joe Flacco. 
Mm, so good timing. This just popped up. I said, what a good dude to be around. He'll be missed. I'm thinking about his mother and how close they were. Mm, that's sad. Um, and the, the statement from the Ravens that said, we are completely heartbroken to learn about the passing of Jacoby Jones. Jeho Jacoby had the unique ability to connect with everyone he encountered. His charisma, joy, and love created a one-of-a-kind presence that could light up any room or brighten any dark day. Uh, Jacoby will long be remembered, not just for his success on the football field, but for the lasting personal connection he made with countless people in the Ravens organization, Baltimore community, and every area he called home. We share our deepest condolences with, the Jaco with Jacoby's family as we all begin to process this devastating loss. And Harbaugh, he said, I love Jacoby Jones. He said, we all did. His spirit, enthusiasm, and love for people were powerful. Uh, he was a light. Uh, he was the cherished son of his loving mom, Miss Emily. Uh, they were so close. He was a man of faith. Uh, my favorite football play was when Jacoby Jones was talking to his mom in the end zone, just before a late game kickoff return against the Vikings in a snowstorm shootout. Uh, Jacoby then raced to catch the ball and run it back for a touchdown. My favorite personal moment was every time I saw his smiling face full of joy. Rest in peace, Jacoby Jones. Oh. Man, that I would say that almost that almost made me start crying. But yeah, it, it is it's it's really sad, man. And and I see like looking on Twitter, um people uh this is what a couple of people had to say. Uh Westside Kesh, um, she said that she couldn't even clock in at work because she was she was crying so hard. Um my guy Shuffle Up nineteen, he said he was the epitome of playing like a raven. Uh, making the most of his opportunities, utilizing his amazing talents uh, to be the Ravens playoff and Super Bowl MVP. Um, I got phenomenal bopper. He said Baltimore lost a legend, a fan favorite and one of my personal favorites. My condolences to his family and his closest. Um, I got Eddie. He said uh, he was having his best, having the best morning uh, and currently sitting here eating his breakfast in his dining room. And to see this news come across his phone, he said it crushed him. Uh, he said, watching all the old Super Bowl run vids and watching him dancing with tears coming down my eyes. Jacoby Jones was my guy, man. So, um, yeah, man. People like, it's sad, man. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's really sad, man. Because with football, it's like, um, oh, and this is what Ray Lewis said. Ray Lewis said, my brother, you will be truly missed. Uh, you will truly be missed, excuse me. Uh, they can't take the memories and the hard work you put in on and off the football field. You always gave back and always a pillar in the community. A raven for life. Love you, JJ. So yeah, man, it's uh, it's tough. Uh, as with, with football, football provides a nice it provides a nice escape uh, for us because um, we all deal with problems, we all deal with issues, we all deal with stuff. And football, and it's it's entertainment, um, but it's it's fun entertainment. But we end up um, just watching these games, watching these players. Uh, every single week, whether it be Sunday, Monday, Thursday, um, sometimes it could be Tuesday, Wednesday, or Saturday. It could be any day, even Friday. We've seen games literally be played on every day of the week, and I'm sure we will see that again this season. But um, with these players, um, players in my they should not be worshipped. They regular guys, just like all of, all of us, like all of, all, all of we are. Um, but with these players, we uh, we enjoy watching them, we and we respect their ability a lot and we appreciate what they bring to our favorite teams um and we want them to do well so i feel like we we end up like almost connecting with these players whether we end up getting to meet them or whether we just watching them on a the tv or whatnot we connect with these players and because we we, we we see them all the time we we see how they play we see how they run uh we see how they catch the ball we, we and we, we study their game we, we we know what they're good at we know what they may struggle with sometimes um so it's just it's, it's, it, they just become really special uh, people to you. Um, so with Jacoby Jones, I know he like the 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 way that he was special to not only Ravens fans but Baltimore as a city too. Like it that that's real, man. Jacoby Jones, he was one of them guys, man. Where it's like again special as a as a Raven, but. To the city of Baltimore, like again, Jacoby Jones, one of them guys, man, that really, really liked that, really, really embraced, really, really loved by everybody. So, like, there's there's players, like especially doing this, covering the Ravens for, oh, I don't even know how long it's been, but you you hear stuff, 
you hear different stories about different players and whatnot. You hear different rumors and stuff, some that never see the light of day. Um, but with Jacoby Jones, I could honestly say that I never heard anything bad about him at all. Never. Not one. Like, cause you, you, you hear a lot of stuff about a lot of players, man, a lot. But I've never not heard not one bad thing about Jacoby Jones from anybody. So that's that, man. But shout out to him. Shout out to his family. Um, just really shout out to everybody. Just, again, um, make sure you tell people that you love them. Make sure you show love to people. Because um, you just never know, man. You, you, you never know. You never know. Look for stuff to be happy about. Uh, look for stuff to be um, to be appreciative about. I know stuff can be hard. Stuff can be tough. I know for this week, um, I had just oh, this was this had been a tough, 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 tough week for me uh, personally. Very, 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 very tough week for me. And I need to take my own advice. Um, we're looking for more stuff to be appreciative about because I've been dealing with some stuff, dealing with some just some some annoyance stuff, some stuff with work, some just. And I just felt like um, I felt like I had just been losing so many different uh, opportunities, um, just back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Like from, and it started on, it started on uh, Wednesday. No, it started on Tuesday. No, no, yeah, it started on it started on Wednesday. Actually, it started on Wednesday. Then it carried on a Thursday, and it got worse. Then it carried on a Friday, and it got worse. And it just and this is like significant opportunities and stuff where it's like, oh man, like this is gonna be so good. This is gonna be great. Oh man, this is gonna help out. Oh, this is, oh, this is gonna come through. This is gonna be nice. And then so so many things back to back to back. They just kept falling apart over and over, over and over. And I was just so frustrated. I was upset. I was angry. I was just it was so frustrating, man. But um. I, I, like I said, I need to take my own advice. We're just looking for more stuff to be appreciative of, especially in moments like that when you feel like stuff is just on a downward trend, on a, like a downward slope, or stuff is like spiraling and whatnot. Just to look for more stuff to be appreciative of, um, because we all we all need that. Because we all gonna have times like that, and with those opportunities, um, yeah, they're gone. They they they're gone. They're done. Uh, it is what it is at this point, but um, other stuff will come when it comes. But this is uh this stuff like this is just a is it can be a wake up call, um, for us to just appreciate the moments more. In my opinion, appreciate the moments more. Appreciate our time. Um, appreciate the people in our lives. Just appreciate more. So again, shout out to Jacoby Jones. Shout out to his family. Um. His friends, everybody that was cool with him, everybody that was close with him, everybody that even had an encounter with him. Um, so, yeah, man, Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, and we out.